Number 29, integrated concepts, letter A. Calculate the rate in watts at which heat transfer through radiation occurs from one meter square of the Earth's surface at night. Assume the emissivity is 0.9, temperature of Earth is 15 degrees Celsius, and that of outer space 2.7 Kelvin. So we need the radiation formula, way back from chapter 14. This is energy per time, so that is known as a watt, okay? Watts. So that's going to be equal to sigma E area T2 raised to the fourth minus T1, okay? So um, basically what I'm going to do here, uh, the square area in the problem is one meter square. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wind up just dividing it on over, okay? Now I typed in W, I wrote W here, but really I should probably write power, all right? W is the watt, that's the unit, but I'm going to leave it in terms of power, okay? Um, so since area is one, it's not going to do anything to this side, but I think this will help us for part B, okay? So this is the power per area. The sigma is, this is, these are just constants now, going back to chapter 14, all right? If you need a review of this, please seek out the chapter 14 problems. Emissivity is 0.9, because this has really nothing to do with the chapter here at the moment. Um, I mean, it kind of does, but it, you know, this is way back when. So the 15 degrees Celsius, you got to convert that into Kelvin, so add that to 273, so that works out to be 288, Okay. Raised to the fourth minus then 2.7 raised to the fourth. Now, which one should you put where? Ah, it really doesn't matter, okay? Um, in terms of, you know, the answer is either going to come out negative or positive, but I'm going to just give the absolute value of the positive answer anyway, okay? Um, so now let's just plug it in. So this is going to be 5.67, 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 times 0 0.9 times then parenthesis 288 raised to the fourth minus then... 2.7 raised to the fourth. Close those parentheses. I'm going to value about 351. All right, 351, and that's watts per meter squared. All right. So now it's saying compare this for letter B. Compare this intensity. But these are the units of intensity, watts per meter squared. That's why I'm setting it up that way. With that of the um, coming to the Earth from the sun during the day, which averages about 800 watts per meter squared, only half though is absorbed. So half of this 800 is actually absorbed. And then what we want to do is we want to calculate basically the percentage of this of a half of the total 800 because only half is absorbed. So that's simply going to be then 351 over then 400, right? Can't compare the intensity. So I'll just leave it in terms of a fraction here. So divide that by 400. So that's about 8.7, you know, 0.878 or so, right? About 87.8%. Okay, so that takes you out of letter B. And then letter C, it says, what is the maximum magnetic field strength? All right, so I think we're going to need a little space here. So uh, what is the max rate of this outgoing radiation? So let's save the 351, okay? Did you write it down? All right. Well, good thing you can rewind the video. So letter C. Um, so now what I need is I need a formula here for intensity that relates to, this, to the magnetic field. And I'm going to use this one. The speed of light multiplied by the magnetic field squared divided by two times the permeability of free space. All right. So if I want to solve this for magnetic field, we simply have to do some cross multiplication. It's relatively straightforward, right? Cross multiply that. Let's move the two into the front, though. Come on. You, oh, well, I moved that part, too. There we go. And move the C on down then, right? Look at how nice and easy that is. And then you got to square root both sides. All right. When you square root then the right-hand side, it gets rid of the square. So we're just going to erase that. And here's now your formula. So now all we have to do is plug in the intensity we just calculated. That was the 351. The permeability of free space is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th. Speed of light is 3 times 10 to the minus, to, not to the minus, to the 8th. And that's it. All right. All you got to do is now plug that in. So this is square root of two times that exact answer from before, 351, times then 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th, divided then by 3 times 10 to the 8th, about 1.71-ish, right? So there's about 1.71 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. Okay, and there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next problem, all right? Take it easy.